you see this has already been requested multiple times they want me to talk about the best IT positions or IT roles for entry level or junior or associate level and let's be honest there are less jobs for fresh graduate or those who are starting their career in information technology or IT and it's always best to land a promising role in their early stage of your career journey. Some people, they would go for non-promising position or a looser role. Then after a couple of years, that's when they will start looking for a highly potential IT position. And personally, I wouldn't recommend that. Not a good idea. So here is our tier list. We have Superstar, Rising Star, Potential, average, struggling, and loser. We have 11 most common entry level or junior level positions. And I will decide which tier we should assign to these roles. So let's begin. And by the way, everything is it depends. So please refrain from commenting it depends. Just share your thoughts. Remember, this is my list my opinion first junior IT technician or junior IT support specialist generally these are call centers or contact center workers but they support IT products most of the time they're supporting consumer grade products like keyboards printers monitors mouse etc and let's say the company that you're working with are the likes of Asus Logitech, Canon printers, etc. It can also be a BPO or call center companies. Now, I will assign this to struggling. And why? It's obvious why. Do you think after a decade, you will still do the same job? The best thing that will happen to you is being promoted as a supervisor or a manager, but the salary wouldn't be that competitive. There is a bonus though. If you're working with consumer grade network products such as D-Link, Netgear, etc. Next, Junior System Administrator. This is a role that involves assisting with the management and maintenance of organization's IT system. And most of the time, you're working with servers. Sometimes it includes databases and software tools, but more focus on servers. And we have many common specializations. These are Microsoft, Linux, and VMware. If you're working two or three of these platforms, well, I'll put you in Rising Star because in a couple of years, you can specialize in DevOps, cloud, or security. And if you stay as a system administrator for quite some time, that's not bad. You can be a Linux architect or virtualization architect. You can also work with vendors such as Microsoft, Red Hat, or VMware. Next, Network Technician. You know, sometimes they call this Junior Network Administrator. But anyway, it's someone who's assisting with installation, configuration, and maintenance of computer networks and related infrastructure. This may involve the dirty work, like cabling, doing the rack and stack. You may also be responsible in doing network testing, like pinging of IP addresses doing layer one troubleshooting and minimal configuration, like creating VLANs and bouncing off interfaces. I will assign these to average. And why not potential or rising star? Well, because there is a better role, same field, but doesn't involve cabling and carrying all of those heavy hardware devices. But don't get me wrong. Yes, this is a good entry level position. And I know CCIEs who started working as network technicians. It's just that this job isn't something that you will still want to keep when you get older. Next, Junior Database Administrator. This role assists in managing and maintaining databases. Obviously, you are basically assisting in troubleshooting database-related issues under the guidance of your senior administrators. I will put this to average tier especially if you just work with databases. It can be potential, you know, if you have cloud-related 
or application related task, even if it's just minimal. All right, average, because I don't know anyone who is a database expert and earning lots of money. Most of them, those with high earning, are called full stack developer, and they also work with databases. Next, junior cloud support engineer, or sometimes we just call this junior cloud administrator. Your role is to aid in provisioning technical assistance for cloud-based infrastructure, assisting with deployment, monitoring, and troubleshooting cloud services and resources. I will put this to rising star, especially if the cloud service provider that you're working with is one of the big three, AWS, Microsoft Azure, or Google Cloud. We know cloud computing or the cloud is the future. And having these as your first job, you would have many options for specialization, machine learning or AI, applications, security, DevOps, advanced networking, cloud architecture, and many more. I hope you are enjoying this video. We'll continue the other positions or roles on part two, the next video.